Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us for our virtual Ask Me Anything event where you get to connect with one of our alumni and just kind of hear their experience personally from them. My name is Carla Maria, and I am part of the FIU Online team, and I help support the FIU Online Master of Science in Engineering Management program. And I'm thrilled to be here today with a few other team members, including Dr. Karen Small. Okay. Hi, I'm a um, professor of practice in the program. I've been with FIU for seven years now, um, coming out of industry, which is where the professor of practice title comes from. I teach several classes in the program, mostly in the quality area. And with us today is also Jasmine Sepulveda. Hi, everyone. I'm the enrollment coordinator. So I'd be the person helping you with the application process and helping you collect documents. It's a pleasure meeting everyone today. And with us today is also our very own spotlight, Felix Verto. He is network project manager under national development at T-Mobile. And he graduated from the online Master of Science and Engineering Management program back in 2018. Felix, would you like to say a few words? I just wanted to thank you for the opportunity to, to speak with the cohort today. It's a pleasure to be serving the Panther community and uh, looking forward to sharing some insights and hopefully helping garner decisions. Thank you, Felix, and thank you for joining us today and, 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 and sharing your experience with our future students. And just to share a little bit about FIU, FIU is the public research university in Miami, Florida, and we really offer degrees at the bachelor's, master's, and doctoral level across the spectrum, including engineering. And we're one of the universities with the highest enrollment class size in the United States. And we're also the number one university in the country to graduate Hispanics with engineering and STEM majors. And at FIU, we've been offering online education, online degrees, really for over 20 years. And we currently have over 100 fully online programs and tracks that our students can complete from absolutely anywhere in the world. And regardless of what schedule is the most convenient for you to complete your coursework. And we recently, we, we recently hit a major milestone at FIU. So right now, FIU is the number one one university to have Quality Matters certification. That means that our courses are top against, against other universities in making sure that they are engaging and effective in online education and the online student experience. And to share a little bit about the master's program that you are very, you're thinking of joining our Master of Science in Engineering Management, just a few quick facts. Our program, you can complete it 100% online and you may complete it in 12 months or on a flexible schedule. So that means if you wanna take longer because maybe you have other responsibilities going on, then you're, you're, you have the ability to do that. And the program consists of a total of 10 courses or the equivalent of about 30 credits. The entire tuition for all of those 30 credits or 10 courses is $25,000. And we're currently recruiting for our next start term, which begins on January 10th. So if you're thinking of joining the program, you're still in time. You must apply by December the 6th. And uh, some of my favorite things about this program, and I know um, others share the same opinion, is that it offers multiple tracks. So regardless of kind of like where your major interest or focus is, you have different options uh, all the way from just completing the general track to construction management, engineering, entrepreneurship, enterprise systems, logistics, engineering, production and manufacturing, systems engineering, and our newest track, which is quality engineering and management. And just a little bit about why we're here today and why we're connecting with you today. We want to make sure that as you think about your next steps in industry and in your career, 
that, that you're making the right choice. And with our program, it really does prepare you for that because our program prepares you for the industry certifications, including some of the quality certifications, which are the Six Sigma Black Belt and the Project Management Professional PMP certification and SAP certification. And additionally, when you're a part of the program, you get to participate in FIU Online's Career Engage, which is really a program where you get to earn a $200 scholarship towards completing one of the industry certifications and you get to polish your LinkedIn profile and interview skills and complete LinkedIn learning courses. All of this is really just to help you develop a professional action plan and just for you to reach your career goals. And this is just a, 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 an overview of all of the different courses that you're able to, you're able to select from the program. Dr. Schmal, would you like to share a little bit about the program's courses? Yes, thank you. Um, the program, as, as was stated, there are 10 courses required. Everybody takes the three core courses of project management, business law, and quality management, which is what I take. Um, or teach. Then there are everybody, you can select three business courses, and you select these based on your interest. Um, and with the track courses, these are, are the different. Um, the different courses that depending on which track you you select you um you choose from the courses and i teach the quality engineering and advanced engineering econ um, as well so a lot of flexibility in the program to tailor it to your specific interest thank you dr small and one other thing about the programs, if you begin in our program in January of 2022, you're also able to apply to FIU online scholarships. So there's three different scholarships that we're offering ranging from $2,000 to $1,000. And I have to tell you, in the past three years, we have awarded over $200,000 to over 100 students. So I wanna make sure that if you decide to join the program, you apply to these scholarships, um, which you may be eligible for. Now these are competitive, so I do encourage you to apply early. And now the reason we're all here for our very own spotlight, alumni spotlight, Mr. Felix Verto, he is the network, one of the network project managers for the national development team at T-Mobile, and he graduated back in 2018. Felix, would you like to share a little bit about your experience and kind of like what it means to be a project manager for you and how the program prepared you for your roles? In my pleasure. Yes, actually, Carla, um, this program not only prepared me for the, the mechanics associated with being a quality leader, but it, it, it took it one step further. It gave me the flexibility necessary for me to not only manage the endeavors I was at the time. And when I started my program back in 2018, I was leading engineering and construction initiatives for Crown Castle in Miami, Florida. And as anyone knows in construction, there are deadlines, there are, you know, things come up, um, entitlements and, and so on. It can be very time constraining. And I was also taking care of a personal matter with my mother, who was also very ill at the time. So between that and, um, and work, I, I, there was very difficult for me to be able to manage the idea even of going and getting an online master's or a master's degree of any kind. FIU gave me not only the flexibility to do that online, but the, the level of the program, the caliber of the program, it, it's almost as if you're taking an MBA and a master's in engineering program and combining them into one, because it gives you the a flexibility to lead on a qualitative level and also pivot and manage the quantitative side of the business where uh, coming from a former engineering background myself, we're taught by our very nature to eliminate the gray in things, uh, where the gray is where most of our business decisions sometimes are made. So you, have, you learn to pivot with this program uh, with the, uh, the other portions of the MSCM program to be able to learn how to qualitatively lead um, and to practice empathy. Now, moving one step further from that, being a project manager um, is one of many hats, as we all know. Uh, th this program will teach you not to be a program or project manager. It'll teach you how to be a program or project leader. 
because the difference between a manager and a leader, you will learn actually in this in one of the courses with Dr. Pissaris on leadership as a global exercise experience, excuse me, how managers are transactional in nature, whereas leaders are transformational. This program will teach you how to be a transformational leader, not a transactional one, that you're just meeting to a metric or a number. Um, the key attributes that I was able to take away from this particular program and successfully embed and, and adopt into my daily endeavors is the leadership aspect um, in terms of practicing empathy uh, when you're making business decisions. Not only managing timelines as we all do, whether it be through a software program like Project or, or what have you, but managing timelines to maintain the collaboration and flexibility. Because as leaders, we're not just managing timelines and we're not managing objectives, we're managing collaboration. And in order to be an effective leader, you have to collaborate. And you will learn that in this program. And through Dr. Shen and Dr. Chen's class, classes, you will learn not only how to take a proce process that's broken in a process ecosystem and correct it, but you'll be able to implement other processes within a process ecosystem so it doesn't create ripple and destroy an, an ecosystem or affect change in a negative way. So you will be able to manage deliverables in a healthy fashion and establish healthy deliverables and you know, measurable and achievable deliverables using SMART, right? simple, measurable, actionable, realistic, and timely uh, deliverables that your team will succeed at as you're leading them through it. And lastly, this program does provide, as I mentioned before, the, the opportunity for you to be passionate, but to be able to back it up. In Dr. Schmall's class, you will learn through quality engineering how simple things such as reliability and repeatability and reproducibility will be able to determine you know, your measurements in that will be able to determine whether or not the problem is systemic in nature or acute. And you'll be able to eliminate the gray in the proper way, but be able to back it up with the passion that you have associated with that particular exercise. So be passionate, but you'll be able to back it up. And lastly, it helped, it, it prepared me to be ready for more. Um, as I have left the program, I am now over on the national team with T-Mobile, one of my customer, former customers, and I'm leading national development initiatives for not only network quality, network availability, partner performance improvement, but also vendor management overall. And myself and four other individuals are responsible for that for the entire organization. I would not be where I am today had I gone an MBA program somewhere else or a master's in engineering program at another location, another E school or a B school somewhere. This program prepared me where I am today. So, if you are considering this as an exercise for your future career development, I highly recommend it. It has paid off in spades for me and the investment is worth it. You have to put in for it. You have to put in the investment and you will receive the reward in spades. So with that being said, Carla, uh, I think I've overstepped. I may have spoken a little too much, but uh, I just wanted to make sure that A, they sense the passion in my voice and I'm paying it full. So Carla, I'm that's, that's phenomenal. That's phenomenal, Felix. And you know, what, what I'm hearing is that in your role, you really do manage um, different capacities and, you know, regarding different functions and that this program helped you for, 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 for basically the responsibilities you're managing now. And um, I mean, I heard a lot of positive feedback that you just shared, but I guess, Felix, what is one of the one, what is one of your favorite things about the program and how do you think that helped you for for the roles that you have had since you since you graduated what what, what would that be well the first thing that i can think of is the, the actual caliber of the team that actually instructed me dr schmall she comes from real world experience that's why she's on this call dr shin dr chin dr Pisaris, who ran a, a fortune you know i think it was a fortune 1000 company in canada before coming to work for us these are individuals, uh, uh, Jesus Sanchalima, a patent attorney with, over, attorney with over 30 years experience teaching me patent law. You know, what better uh, opportunity for me to learn than from industry accepted and practiced individuals and not someone who went from, you know, straight from B school, from graduate school, straight into a classroom. I, I wanted that real world experience taught to me. And that's one of the key things that I learned from this. Program. That's one of the key positives that I had. I had real world leaders teaching me. So not somebody who just wrote a book and got a class. 
So definitely, you know, definitely Felix, that's very important for us at our program, making sure that our professors, our faculty have that real world experience to share with, with our students. And, you know, I guess if, if you were able to offer one piece of advice, one, you know, one tip to somebody who's really just looking to develop their, their career as a leader um, in engineering, what would that be, Felix? Well, uh, the first thing that, they, that any leader needs to have and embrace fully is the ability to be empathetic, not just with you know, you're those that serve you, but those that you serve, because technically you will learn this with Dr. Viseras for sure. As a leader, you're more of a servant. You're constantly helping others. You're not looking to crack a whip. Leaders don't do that. Leaders actually enable, they build roads. They establish communication and collaboration. So be empathetic. And what I mean by that is reverse that, put that in the family member's shoes that you're with as you're taking this course and be empathetic and manage your time to where you're including them as you're also benefit because that, that will benefit your endeavors and your efficient, your ability to invest your time in this program will also benefit them. So create that bridge of empathy now, establish the inroads now and invest in yourself because if you don't, no one else will. And you're investing in yourself, but for everyone else that's that you're with. So you might want to keep them informed from the beginning and collaborate. That's, so. that's, that's great advice, Felix. Thank you. Thank you. And um, well, now that you've kind of shared your experience, you know, with our program, with FIU's engineering management program, and really your experience after you graduated um, as, a, as a project manager and as a leader in the organizations that you've worked for, um, we actually want to open it up, um, open up the floor to our future students who have joined us today. Um, and really, you know, for, 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 for any questions to be answered directly one on one from Felix. So I invite you to um, go ahead and share your questions via chat and, um, and we can go ahead and explore what Felix's um, take is on your questions. So let's see as those questions come in. Okay, we've got our first question that came in, Felix. Um, I'm, I'm, I received a question and it is, uh, uh, how did you manage your course load and workload working and also completing your, your courses online? Well, that's a very good question because that was the very first question I asked myself before I even subscribed to the program um, and, and I'm bothered to, bothered to apply. Very simply put, it's about time management. Um, you know, managing a, a work week of 50 plus, 60 plus hours sometimes can be difficult. But uh, the, for, the, the wonderful thing about the online program is, is that it is fully flexible for you. It is off of your needs and your time and your schedule. Uh, so I didn't normally work on, I had to invest weekends. I had to invest some evenings. I had to wait till my youngest went to bed in order for me to be able to get it done. But um, it was worth the wait. And it's just a matter of time management, being able to manage the time, but setting up blocks of time where nothing interrupts, and that is what you do. So on a Saturday morning, when I know my teenage son was asleep from eight till probably noon, because that's what he did, that was my Saturday time. And that's when I took my coursework and I did my homework and I studied and, and I was able to invest that in the, in the evenings after he went off to bed. And I would do it, I would sit it the, on the kitchen table and I would get it done on my laptop or on the couch. Um, that is the investment that I had to make. And um, that is what I highly recommend that you do is from the very beginning, manage your time and set those blocks of time, kind of like you're having a date with yourself. And that's exactly what you do. That makes sense. That makes sense, Felix. And we have another question that came in, which is, I've never completed an online program before. What was your experience like with the professors in the online program? The professors were very, very open, very flexible. Dr. Small and I actually have you know, kept in touch over the years, believe it or not. That is how close and, you, and, and tight you will become with the majority of your professors, if not all of them. As a matter of fact, Dr. Sanchalima, who was in Spain at the time he was teaching our classes, was actually able and available for instruction at his, you know, at our times while he was five, six hours away. 
So they were available to us as our needs were, you know, you know as our needs came up at their at our schedule. So the the flexibility of having you know having that flexibility and the ability to communicate with your 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 instructors at that level is what saved me from being able to not have to drop a class and what have you so my recommendation is that immediately engage immediately connect with your 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 instructors uh, with professors like dr small and be prepared to do the work because they're there to do the work with you Okay, no, and, and that makes sense. That's what our professors and what the entire FIU um, support staff is here for, you know, really just to help our students graduate. And we, we have another question and it's kind of two-sided, Felix. Um, our next question is, did you have any, you know, how, how did you make your decision deciding between an online versus an on-site master's in engineering management? And then also, um, what path did you take, um, Felix, personally, you, since the program does offer multiple tracks, did you take the general track or did you take um, any of the um, more um, specialized tracks? Great questions. Uh, the very first one, uh, simply put, I was accepted to several different schools for both an MBA and MSCM. I actually was accepted by my former alma mater of uh, Virginia Tech to finish my master's in engineering, to obtain my master's in engineering there. I was accepted to Duke, the Fuqua School of Business for an MBA. Turned them both down to take this course, this program, because the online program that I was seeking was, the program that I was seeking had to have that flexibility. I would not have in a traditional environment. It was, you know, raising a family, having a career, a mid-level management at the time, moving into a different arena of my career. The last thing I wanted to do was to take a hiatus and lose the momentum in my career online was the only way to go. And then it became a matter of what online program serves my needs best. And I chose, and to answer the second part to the question, I chose the enterprise systems engineering track because I wanted to fix broken processes, broken components within an organization. Everyone in this, on this call has, has seen or experienced merger or growth by acquisition in one capacity or another. It is the, the way businesses grow. They either grow through you know, fundamental growth of their revenue you know, and free cash flow after they reinvest in themselves and put the money back in the business. If the money that's left over in their pocket is still growing, they're doing something right. But a lot of other companies also practice growth by acquisition. It is people like myself that come in and make those acquisitions process-wise become a reality so that free cash flow continues to churn and keep making money. So it, that was the reason why I chose Enterprise Systems Engineering. So Online was the only way to go with my life at that time, being in a tornado. And the second in, in the second option was that was the program that I thought was the one that fit best with what I wanted to do long term. So thank you, Felix. And we have another question, and I'm sure um this question is on everybody's minds. Um, the question is, Felix, how did you improve your employment level after you finished your engineering management program? Well, uh, while I was in the management, or while I was in the management science engineering pro management program, M MSEM program, excuse me, it's always easier to say it that way. Um, I was managing engineering and construction in South Florida, in Miami-Dade County specifically. Uh, I was immediately after you know, in the tail end of my, my schooling uh, for the master's program, I was immediately moved into the large projects arena. And shortly after, within seven months, I was promoted to a program manager for all of network deployment innovation at Crown Castle. I managed an incubator. and My job was to have, if you can imagine, engineers, you know, they're very, most engineers tend to be, you know, they have their way of doing things, innovation engineers, mind you. Um, it's like herding cats. And my job was to run this agile, lean, uh, very lean, flat uh, team and keep Crown Castle relevant long term. So that is how my career progressed within the first 24 months. Since then, I have migrated over to T-Mobile and now leash, leading the national development operations teams with respect to vendor management and performance improvement. So um, I... That and 65 cents will get you a cup of coffee somewhere in Miami. This is where I'm at right now. But I can tell you, it is what you put into it that you will get out of it. You're, the program only prepares you for the next step. It is what you do to take those first steps after that that will get you there. 
And with any program, it is what you invest. If you invest the time into the program as an online student, you will get the results in spades and it will be measurable in your career. You will see the growth exponentially. Um, I hope I answered the question uh, as best I could. Uh, other than financials, I'd rather not discuss that. Um, of course, no, th thank you. For but it's been positive. I, I, <laughs> so. <laughs> so it's so it's been positive both in the in the in the yes. development side um, and in the ex the exposure um, and and the compensation then the the that 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 you expect. So I'm, I'm glad that that you've had a positive experience, Felix. And really, that that's the whole purpose, right? To to help um, graduate students who are going to be leaders um, in different aspects, different um, industries and in different engineering functions, um, just making sure that they are feeling fulfilled with their careers. And we, we have one last question. Um, the question is, um, in, in this particular case, this prospective student already has an MBA, um, but they are thinking about joining the program um, would this program add value being that they already have the business background? Absolutely. You see, having the business side of the fence, you know, having your MBA, you understand the accounting and the economic side of things, the finance. You understand how businesses run. You understand how businesses are marketed. But when it comes down to it, there's a big piece of the puzzle that's missing, and that is how businesses are run internally, how things can be improved upon beyond a spreadsheet, beyond a PL statement, beyond a, an income statement or a balance sheet or what have you. You want to look at it from an actual metric standpoint and be able to understand it. There's this huge gap in, and it's along with the leadership blood that we are all experiencing over the past 10 years within our all of our industries. There's this huge glut of not having business majors understand engineering practices and engineering needs and engineering ma managers not understanding the business practices and business needs this career program this track or this program builds the bridge you will become that collaborative bridge between your engineering teams in the company and your management teams the business managers in the company so that they are very used to being the business side is very used to being transactional in nature let's make it to the next month the next quarter Engineers are used to making it cheaper, better, faster, cheaper, better, faster. You serve as the bridge where compromise is reached, collaboration occurs, and the byproduct and the result is a successful career for you because you become much more relevant to both sides. Thank you, Felix. Thank you. You know, we are out of time and I just want to close by sharing that um, if you, if, you know, after hearing Felix, if you, if you've decided to join the program, just make sure to apply by December 6, which is our deadline. Um, you can visit go.fiu.edu slash apply. It really takes about 10 minutes to fill out the application. And then you can submit your application documents to us afterwards. And additionally, if you have not already applied, we will also cover your application fee. Um, so just make sure to visit go.fiu.edu slash apply, select the pay by check option, and then just let us know that you applied and that way we can take care of you. Just um, email us at onlineprograms at fiu.edu. And um, really, I want to thank Felix for sharing your experience, your insight on the program, and not only on the program, but on really on your career and sharing your guidance for our prospective students. Um, and we are here to answer any questions that you may have as a follow-up. So just be sure to reach out to us via online, email, phone. We are available for you. So thank you very much, Felix. Thank you, Dr. Schmal. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you. Have a beautiful afternoon. Take care. Bye.